Hello everyone, very good morning and welcome to the ABAP for functional class. Here we are mostly the pace of the course going to keep in such a way that our main intention is to how to be proficient in debugging and some basic understanding of SAP technical concept. In order to have the good understanding of SAP ABAP debugging, we should be good in some of the basic concept of data dictionary and report. Keeping that aspect in mind, I have designed this course and with those goal in mind, let's start our session with the class first with agenda. A data type today we will be discussing about what are the different types of data in SAP ABAP. Table creation, how we can create one simple table. We will not go very much deep dive into the table creation. We will understand what is the meaning of domain, what is data element, what are fixed values at domain level? What is the use of this? What is the check table? And then we will create one database view and we will see how with the help of database view, we can fetch data from multiple tables. With this agenda for the today's class, let's start our session with the data type. Once the session will complete, I will give you the assignment. I have already created this assignment for you. This assignment you will be doing just after the class. I will be giving you some time. So if you can manage some more half an hour and so it will be really great. You know? So I'm flexible with my timing. If you can make some more time for you, it will be good, you know, so that you can practice. And if you face any issue, I will be able to help you over there. Fine. So let's start with the a data type. So what is this data type and why this is required basically? So you must have observed that Whenever in nature, in real time, if you talk about anything, you know, everywhere type comes into picture because it's natural. For example, if you have a building, there can be different types of building. If you have trees, there can be different types of trees. If there is a man, people, different type of people, different type of country. So similarly, in our SAP ABAP, there are different types of data are there and those have been categorized because of the technical region. You know that you won't be able to treat different type of people in the same way. Similarly, different data type cannot be treated in the same way, you know. Technically, in the back end, at the system level, at the program level, it is treated differently by the system. We also, as a ABAP developer, you are also going to be a ABAP developer, at least not full-fledged up to some extent in this course, after this course, you will realize how data type is going to play the important role. So what are the different data type? And there are several data types, but we will be talking about the important data types. So let's start with the very first one comes into picture, the integer data type. Integer data type, you know. So in integer data type, it will be something like minus 
you know let's suppose start with uh, it it we can give something like dot 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 then a minus 10 then minus 9 then minus 8 then minus 7 and so on it will go up to 0 right and then a 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and so on it will go up to infinity right so in integer data type here this is the meaning of integer data type but here it is denoted as int 1 int 2 int 3 and int 4 like this it will be denoted so int 1 will be having less range right it will consist up to four digit similarly it will be having more range it will be having again more range like if you have to you know contain more uh, large number you know you can go with the bigger number of integer data type for the simple one up to you know 9999 like that we can use the int one for the exact range, you can explore to the SAP help website, but that is not required. If there is some problem, it will give you the error at the syntax check level. If you are using, you know, uh, if you are doing this in the SAP ABAP programming, it will tell that this much big data will not be consist by this data type. So either you will have to increase the, you know, uh, data type uh, size, like you can see here, it is a int two, it is int three, it is int four. That means its range is more. The meaning of int one capacity is minus 100 to plus 100, int two will be able to consist minus, uh, 500 to 500 just i am giving you one rough idea how it is for exact figure you know for exact figure you can check with the sap help data type uh, website but that is not required this moment our intention is to just understand what are the different data types okay one is integer data type another is numeric data type so what is this numeric data type? This data type is also known as a numeric character data type. And here you will be able to see, let's suppose if, and here it is denoted like this. Say here for in the integer data type, it will be denoted like this. For numeric data type, it will be denoted like this so again like you know uh if here if i can write like this int the basic stuff is int over here here the basic the fundamental terminology is numc and this numc again you know you can write like this numc1 numc2 numc3 numc4 like that it will go so here if this is the numc1 that means from 0 to 9 you can write here if it is a numc2 from 0 to 99 you can write here it is a numc3 0 to 9 triple uh, triple 9 you can write because the number of digit this represents the number of digit basically okay this represents number of digit and this will be let's suppose you have to write the one in the so see here also you have the one but this is the integer data type and here if you want to write the uh one in numc2 it will be written as zero one you know if you have to write in numc3 same value one if you are going to write in numc2 it will be zero one if you are going to write in numc3 it will be double zero one you can see that three characters right and so on so this concept will become 
more clear once we will go into you know uh, as soon as we will progress in our class so nothing to worry just you understand the very first one is the integer data type like one two three four and all this is the numeric character data type you know numeric character why like again the same value why we are representing in the different terminology you know this is the different study but you should understand this is the basic difference like if you want to uh, if you want to represent uh, one of type in three it will be treated as one simply but if you represent one as type num c3 it will be represented as triple zero one so that is one benefit there can be you know several other benefits will be uh, looking it into in our upcoming sessions okay so one is integer data type another is numeric data type the third word is you know character data type character 